Yeah, but but the, the round is paired. So oh, I didn't know that. Yep. Can you can, can you help me, please? Yeah. Sweet. Oops. <laughs> uh, if you want to go ask at the front, I'm sure they'll get you seated. Thank you, thank you. Okay, good luck. I will sit thank in that move. seat so you don't have to change his name. Oh, so you could have moved over to help me move. Well, I don't want to do that. There he is. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, good luck, buddy. All right. So getting into Howdy. game one. Hello. Welcome. Uh, getting into game one of round two here, we've got Steven on, hey, five-color creativity. Oh, wow. Uh, versus Austin okay. on burn. Uh, hey, so talk to me about the dynamics of this matchup. Burn versus creativity? I, wasn't that what he was just talking about? Yeah, that was the, that was the, it was a callback to... You know, to like now? Two, two minutes ago. Yeah, right. Oh. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really Nathan's sure. Nathan's the expert. Nathan is the expert. Uh, yeah, so my understanding is that. Uh, I'll be the burn expert. You can be the burn expert. Woo! My understanding is that burn Lightning kind bolt. of needs to play this like control role where, yeah. you know, you're obviously you're going uh, upstairs as much as you can, but you need to have the mana to stop them from like creativity x equals two, you yeah. know, by like bolting their creatures and stuff. Yep. Um, I suspect that this game is going to be, this match is going to be determined a lot by like uh, 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 Burns' resilience and their their capability in the matchup. And yeah, and uh, and like Fable's Fable of the Mirror Breakers two two making a, a treasure and yeah. having that be one of your targets. Yep. Um, we'll have to see if Austin is uh, is heads up enough to, you know, see plays like that. Uh, I know he's not a frequent Magic player these days, uh, but burn is burn. You know, you can you can be base level proficient and. and be getting in there. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I don't think I've met either of these players, or at least played against any of these players. Um, but, I mean, we know how burn works. Um, ironically, anybody that hasn't read uh, Who's the Beat Down, which is a classic, classic uh, Magic the Gathering article as far as competitive magic from, goodness, when was that? Probably 2006 ish, early 2000s. Um, and you can there was an article basically just telling you uh, how to evaluate where you are in a game uh, and then adjusting your opinion and uh, sort of your game actions as far as tailoring your support of that position in the game. Um, the burn is going to play a, uh, what was that, Molten, Vort Molten Vortex? Uh, Roiling Vortex. That's it, Roiling Vortex. Um, so burn down to, what, 16, uh, creativity at 19, 18, 17, I think it is. Looks like it. And then upkeep going to 16. Um, Mar Mark's going to be out here uh, updating uh, life totals here about every quarter second. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, who's the beatdown is definitely going to be kind of important for the burn player. You, right. you want to be out the gates really fast trying to get your opponent's life total down as you know as far as possible so that their, their fetches and shocks hurt real bad. Um, there you go. Here's a lava spike. 17 Here's down to 14. Skew the critics. Down That's, to 11. Uh, uh, reprieve. One reprieve. of them is getting reprieved. Yep, so it's back in hands. We only took three. Yep, looks like um, a 14 into 16 here. So like I was saying, just you want to get a flurry of spells out really early, and then uh, probably around turn three or four, you want to start evaluating where you're at. And if you can start, you know, at that point, either if it's bad <laughs> or if you're in a position to... We got life totals yet? Yeah, we have life totals. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, we did it. Oh, um, it's and gone and gone and gone. If we are able to, what is that end step? Main phase? Uh, no, this is main phase. This to is ferry. Cast ferry. Tap a mountain. To oh, cast this is ferry. this is probably down to twelve from the roiling vortex. What's this and then bounce the roiling vortex. Don't we have a video <laughs> of their life totals? Uh, no. Alrighty. <laughs> Killer. All right. Uh, sadly, this this, uh, this this Teferi is not going to be eating a uh, Rift Bolt, which does occasionally tend to be important in this matchup. Yep. So, for those of you who don't know, uh, Teferi does only allow you to cast spells at uh, hold on at sorcery. Oh, the Roiling Vortex came back down. Yeah, he recasted it on his main base. Wow, they are zoom in here. Yeah, okay, are. 11, 10. I see, I see 10 from Steven. Yep. Goodness me. We're going to creativity immediately on the dwarf. Go get a. Uh, we're going to get an Archon right away. Surely is an Archon. It's going to drain for three. So we're going to go from almost almost flipping life total. So we were going to yep. go down to 13 for That's Austin, up to 13 from Steven. Evening things up. And at this point, this is what Nathan was talking about. Right. Because at, at, right. Austin's going to have to discard a card, and card density is so important in burn. Like, you need more spells. And Archon also says... Uh, when it attacks? Yeah, it does the same Jeez. thing. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it attacks for effectively nine. Oh, you know? man. And you gain three, and you make your opponent discard a card. Yep. 
I suspect we're going to see double bolt out of uh, Let's Austin hope. here. Let's hope for double bolt, double bolt, double bolt. <laughs> which <laughs> yeah, I don't right. even think we'll get there. Uh, I s I've got uh, Austin down to 12 here off of the Royal Cortex. Cortex. Not, like not enough. Four? That uh, sure could be the case. He's uh, unironically playing them quite close to the chest. Can't quite tell. <laughs> um, Steven with a lot of cards. Yep, approximately 30. <laughs> okay, so we did see a land come down from Austin, so this could yeah. be a uh, Searing Blaze or something? We had Boros Charm. That's Boros not going to be a winning that's line here. That's not going to be it. And a Skewer. That's so, seven. So nine, Put Steven six. down to six. And he's going to attack Go to for, five. Go to five. Okay. We, we have a potential... <sighs> yeah, but he's back up to eight this has, turn off of has, the attack. If he has two cards in his hand, he goes up to eight. Eight, and then he's taking got the nine. All right. He's got the bolt. All, All right. right. Game over. Yep, it turns out an unanswered Archon of Cruelty very quickly closes Who knew? <laughs> Nathan. Nathan knew. Nathan actually. knew. Nathan knew. He knew all about it. Oh, man. Okay, so... Man, Nathan's doing great on stream. Yeah, right? Look at him. Got a, got a whole makeover. Uh, yeah, okay, so moving into game two here, presumably Burn is going to be... I don't know, do you do you bring in, like, paths against uh, Absolutely. This? Or, or do you just, like, hope to dodge? I mean, like, surely no, that can't be no, it, right? I, there, okay, so, like I was mentioning before, there's there's the who's the beatdown decision, and, and pre-board, that's really hard in Burn. Post-board, you have the opportunity to, like, make those calls for removing all the one ones and things like that, but the, the issue here is that your your opponent is functionally playing four mana, sack an artifact, lightning helix. You dis <laughs> you discard a, a path, right. basically. Right. And you give your opponent a bunch of lands. Uh, you just have to just deal with those. And I, I hope that four mana, lightning helix, discard a card. You discard path. Is enough? Yeah. Right. Um, I, I think. I think generally speaking, it will be. No, I agree. Uh, uh, yeah, it's 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 blightning, but lightning helix, I guess. Blightning helix. Blightning helix. Oh, you got there Goodness just before gracious. I did. I was putting it together. <laughs> um, and so, your opponent playing blightning helix against you is not like terrible against burn. Yeah, burn, can, burn doesn't really care about taking the three. They just care so no. much about the opponent gaining the three. Yeah, and with you, and then of course you have cards. to spend the card. To, yeah. to answer it and then spend the cards to deal the damage and discard Absolutely. down. It's just it's just so much. And that's that's part of the reason why... I, but I think that there's half of, of the, the Burn player's deck. Like, like, you either want to draw the answers, like like one Roiling Vortex with the ability to put red mana into it so your opponent doesn't gain any life. Right, absolutely. Which is super relevant. Um, and lots of paths, ways to play the long game like that, that, you know, deciding that you're just playing control the whole way around. Or... You want to go Swift Spear, Swift Spear, Bolt, Swift right. Spear, Bolt. Like, you want to go very, very aggressive um, so that your opponent can't get out from under it. And unfortunately, like we saw in game one, you can't draw both. If you draw both, like, you're super far behind. Absolutely. Uh, uh, even, like, Searing Blaze is terrible. I, I, I don't. Some kind of white card from uh, Austin there, but I'm not sure what it was. I imagine it's it's a removal spell of some kind. Yeah, I, it it sure looked like a sanctifier end back. I'm really hoping that's not the line that he's trying to take because that doesn't seem very powerful at all. True. Um, as far as um, I mean, I guess it attacks past an archon, but if that's your plan, you're probably so far behind. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think I think sanctifier end back is is only for one deck, and that's gonna be uh, grief. Right. Let's see. I don't. I see a a is that a rest in peace on the right, on his far right. Uh. Jeez, I, oh I have no idea. I know he didn't well, put we'll, the card back. I'm I'm sure we'll find out. No, it's a land. It looks like a land. All yeah. right. Cool. Wooded foothills well, we or something. Have... All right. We've got. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, turn this one. Lob spike. Good. This is a uh, slow. This is not only is this slow. I think this is a uh, a bit telling that Austin might be a, a newer burn player, uh, because you know typically speaking, turn one if you're not playing a creature, you are so far behind. Yeah. Idolon maybe. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. All right. Mm -hmm. Turn two. Turn two. Question mark. Boros charm. Boros charm. Sixteen down to twelve. Yeah, twelve. <clears throat> What is the what is the land? Is that a um is that the Doctor Who land uh Sunbake Canyon? Jeez, I think it is. That's very possible. So we'll assume nineteen. I, I, I will I will I'll bet the farm. 
<laughs> That's Doctor Who land, Sunbaked Canyon. Was that shock in go down to ten? So that surely must be reprieve. Spike you hmm. down to seven. Spike Second you spike. again down to four. Reprieve. Reprieving is that is not in. going to happen. So we've Report. got seven. We might. We've got uh, seven, seven, nineteen here. Uh, seven, eighteen. He's tapped the seven, uh, eighteen. He's 18, tapped yeah. the Sunbay Canyon twice. I don't think Austin's life total is going to matter this game. I agree, but you know, relevant. Down to six. If we're presenting data, it should be accurate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fetch mountain. All right. I'm, what I'm, do we go get? I'm what do we play here? Smelling fable of the mirror breaker. Okay, make a blocker. Not going to help him if he's got two, well, we two one mana burn spells. Charm, so and we know he has the spike. He has spike, Boris charm. Does he have the third land? That's the question. I see the spike. I see the Boris charm. I don't see the third land. So turn. Because presumably Steven's got the... Uh, the Archon combo the, in hand. Yeah, exactly. Some way to gain three life. At that point, it's a bit of an uphill battle. Okay, right. there spike is another you. spike down to three. Question mark. What do we got? What do we? What, what is that? What on art? earth is that card? That looks like a rest in peace. I. I it looks like a. I, I'm seeing portable hole. Surely that's not it though. <laughs> if if it was portable hole, he should have cast it on this creature. No kidding. If it was portable hole, he should have registered a different card. <laughs> um, I hope not. I I, I I trust in Austin's ability to, yeah, to build his deck. All right. Here's two. Makes that's uh, what. What are we doing? Is that path? It is path, maybe? That's... I don't in, know that card. Okay, in, that is path. In combat, path to exile. I assume in combat, path to exile. Okay. Oh, uh, so he can't... I guess not. That actually would be a, a very clever timing there. Um, with Steven trying to set up, like... Uh, because it's a sorcery. X equals two, right. Uh, instead, he's still going to be able to go X equals oh, two. Oh, he passes. Once, but uh, there's land and that's so not... Anyways, you uh, cannot you cast that. That is not legal. With that. Try again. That's not a legal spell. Do I need to go tell him? Nope. Steven's fixing it. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, that is not a... Uh, Steering yeah. Blaze is not a legal cast. Yeah, you need to have uh, legal targets for, for both of those yep. there. So we're going to we're gonna wait, wait, see wait. if we can... Mark is on top of this. Yep. So can't cast the Searing Blaze unless there's both a creature and a player to, uh, who Good controls that creature. Steven did not yet... Yeah, disappeared on so Okay, I got okay. it. <laughs> I, I told him to just chill. Sorry, Magic fans. I'm just the guy that pushes buttons. I don't know what the cards do exactly, though. But these guys we got it. Uh, so he's got to cast. Instead, he's going to cast a Boros Charm, walk it back. He still has Reprieve in his hand. He always oh, cast it, draw the card. That's fine. Um, it's going to make this. It sounds sounds like we have we have... Solved it. He just cast the Boros Charm. He just decided instead. to cast the Boros Charm instead. Perfect. Sounds good. Looks like it got reprieved. I it think it did. It did in fact get reprieved. So, uh, so Stephen untaps, flips his uh, Kiki Jiki guy. What is he? What is he called? Reflection. Reflection of Kiki Jiki. Um, <clears throat> Stephen's gonna crack his fetch. Go to two. Notably less than uh, three. That is less than three. <laughs> Uh, we're seeing the dwarf token being made. Uh, this is surely going to be a way to stabilize, unless Austin has uh, the kitchen sink here for one mana. Uh, I mean, this is this is just kind of rough, right? This is uh, going to be putting two Archon of Cruelties into play. Ouch. And... Uh, Austin is conceding? I think I think we're flipping cards just to make sure that there are in fact two Archon of Cruelties in the deck. He's doing two at a time, which I like. Yeah, I actually for X equals two, I like that a lot. Makes it go by quick. Absolutely. There's one. Mm -hmm. Now he's going by one. Love it. This guy's got the shortcutting down. Absolutely. Hey, look, All it's right, two so Archon we're gonna of Cruelties. Gain six. So we have down to two, up to eight, eight. taking six down to twelve. Correct. And it looks uh, like Austin's scooping it up. Yep. I guess that's 2-0 towards Steven. Yeah. Unless something else funky happened with a concession. I don't think so. I think we're seeing some de-sideboarding right now. Cool. A very quick uh, round two here. Absolutely. Uh, Steven expertly taking this down with uh, with Archon control. Mm -hmm. 
So tell me about the format right now. What do you uh, what do you like? What do you not like? I think that let's see. I think creature aggro's quite good. Um, I really like seeing Merfolk uh, making some splashes. I think that there's huh. some space. Very funny. Um, I think that there's definitely some space for maybe like a humans deck, maybe a uh, sort of goblins, like traditional goblins build with like Aether Vial. Um, I think that okay. something like that would be Are very you thinking good. Like like Jund with like Grumgully and and all that. So stuff not or? not Grumgully, but the the red black version with the combo kill. Okay. With uh, what is that? Conspicuous Snoop and yeah, like yeah. Star Prospector or things like that. Right. Um, like the, similar to the, like the Legacy mm-hmm. Goblins builds. Um, I think that like seems like it has some legs. Um, now I don't know if it's good, but I, I noticed that this this format actually like feels like you can brew 